The House Judiciary Committee has now subpoenaed former FBI law lawyer Lisa Page to appear for a closed-door interview on Wednesday. Page exchanged numerous texts, of course, attacking the president with her lover, Peter Strzok, the FBI agent who's in the middle of a lot of these stories. Meanwhile, Paul Manafort's attorneys have made a new court filing that reveals there was a 2017 meeting between DOJ officials and Associated Press journalists suggesting grand jury secrecy may have been violated. Molly Hemingway is a senior editor at The Federalist. She joins us now live. Good to see you, Molly. Great to be here with you. Uh, let's start with Lisa Page. Uh, Peter Strzok's already appeared behind closed doors. Uh, we expect him, I believe, in public later this week. What do we know about Lisa Page and why she's being brought in? Right. Lisa Page was Andrew McCabe's legal consigliere. She was his trusted uh, confidant, Andrew McCabe being the fired number two at the FBI. He was fired for not being truthful about his communications with mm -hmm. reporters. She was implicated in those, although she was authorized to talk to the reporters. But we have all these texts showing just extreme bias between these two agents as it related to the both the Clinton investigations and the Trump investigation. And we do not have good answers from her about exactly what was going on. And so it's a really exciting opportunity that Congress will be Asking her the about insurance policy some of that. to maybe prevent Donald Trump uh, from being elected president. The idea of a meeting in "quote unquote" Andy's office, long uh, you know expected, anticipated that that meant Andy McCabe, who you mentioned was the number two at the FBI and Page's boss. And not just that, there were interesting texts about the White House's role in the whole investigation and just the decisions that were, play that were made about the use of confidential informants, of which mm -hmm. there were you know, many. And there's just so much that remains to be learned about what was going on. You know, she left under pressure, so it's, it's a particularly interesting thing that she will be, she left the FBI under right. pressure, so uh, and so are the DOJ under let's pressure. Let's talk about Paul Manafort. His uh, legal team has been quite frustrated that he's been thrown in jail before his trial on tax and other charges um, because of alleged witness tampering. He's now in solitary confine, confinement to protect him uh, because they believe that uh, his lawyers do, that he's going to get beaten up. People think he's a trophy because he was close to President Trump. It, it's very disturbing uh, and troubling. Uh, and now we learn that maybe AP journalists were getting inside information and grand jury secrecy might have been violated. There is a really interesting story about this meeting that the Department of Justice had with these AP reporters. And neither side comes out looking particularly good, given the information we have thus far. The DOJ appears to have been sharing information that came out of grand jury proceedings. That's strictly against the rules. But the AP, their, their argument seems to be, well, we weren't sharing information. Yeah. We were collecting information from reporters. Well, that violates every journalistic norm if it's true that the a Associated Press was sharing information uh, if they'd become activists or, or yeah. informants, that's not typical behavior for journalists. All right. A lot more digging to come on that story for sure. Molly Hemingway, appreciate your time.